Now let us see what are the merits of Mendeleev's periodic table. Mendeleev had already predicted that there will be certain elements which will be discovered after some years. And the elements were really discovered. The Eka boron that Mendeleev had named is now known as scandium. Eka aluminium is known as gallium. And Eka silicon is now known as germanium. Mendeleev had also predicted certain properties of these elements which are found to be very much correct. For example, atomic mass of Eka aluminium was predicted to be 68. And when gallium was actually found out, its atomic mass was found out to be 69.7, which is approximately close to the prediction. He also predicted that Eka aluminium's formula with oxygen will be E2O3. And gallium's formula with oxygen is actually Ga2O3. He also found out that the formula of chlorine with Eka aluminium will be ECl3. And actually formula of gallium with chlorine is GaCl3. The noble gases that were found out later could easily be accommodated in this table. Because noble gases do not react with either oxygen or hydrogen. They, so they could be easily accommodated in a separate column. This table was established in the year 1869 and the Mendeleev's periodic law states that the properties of the elements are the periodic function of their atomic masses. That means if you arrange the elements according to their atomic masses, we will find that elements having similar chemical properties can be found after a certain interval. After the discovery of such a brilliant table, there were certain flaws in the table. Let us see what are the limitations of this table. This table was arranged according to the increasing order of the atomic masses of the elements. But there was no information about the isotopes of the elements present. For example, chlorine has two isotopes. One of the isotope has mass 35 whereas the other isotope has mass 37. But chlorine 35 was placed in the table and chlorine 37 was nowhere. So no information about the isotope was given in the table. So the limitation is the position of the isotopes could not be explained. Now according to the second limitation, the position of hydrogen in the table was not clear. Hydrogen was placed in the first column in the column of the metals. But hydrogen is not a metal, it also behaves like a halogen. So it has to be placed with halogens. So this was the confusion which was created in the periodic table regarding hydrogen. Other limitation was the wrong order of atomic masses of some elements could not be explained. When you check the table, you will find that cobalt which has mass 58.93 was placed before nickel which has mass 58.71. This is the wrong order if we are considering the increasing order of their atomic masses. 